What's up guys and welcome back to another man vs. deer video. In today's video, I was out turkey hunting the other day and I found a giant puffball mushroom. We are going to fry this up. They're supposed to be really good. Let's see what it tastes like. This is probably one of my bigger bucks to date. Guys, I cannot believe that that actually worked. Looks like a double long shot. It was hot. Really hot. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you smash that subscribe button. Definitely like the video for sure. Leave a comment. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. Something I'm I'm doing a little bit different now too is I have a link to a shop that I do actually on a taxidermy business on the side. Custom plaques, wing bone calls, and a bunch of other stuff. If you're interested in supporting the channel, click that link and check it out. But, like I said earlier, I found a giant puff, puff ball mushroom the other day. And this one isn't so giant, but it is for sure a puff ball mushroom. And uh, I'm really excited. I haven't gotten to find or eat one of these yet, so I was happy to find it. Um, these things kind of look like a soccer ball or a baseball. This is cut in half. And the inside uh, should be all solid white. If it looks like it's developing a cap or any kind of stem, do not eat it. Now, uh, at this point, I'm going to say that I am not a mushroom expert. Um, I just go by the, you know, Missouri Conservation Mushroom Guide. So definitely do your research. Don't take my word for it. But from what I can tell, this is a giant puffball mushroom. There's no development of a stem or a cap that I can see. Inside is all white and spongy like a marshmallow. So... I think this one's safe. Everything I've read as far as eating these recommends deep frying them, which hey, I absolutely love deep frying stuff, so that's what we're gonna do. I've heard the skin is a little tough and honestly cutting through it, I can tell that it was. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice these up and I'm just gonna trim the outside edges to get that skin off. We're gonna bread them and then we're gonna fry them. All right, so to get that skin off really quickly, I just sliced it up and I'm just gonna trim the edges like that. It'll waste a little bit of mushroom, but it'll save me a heck of a lot of time. This cap feels a little bit uh, tough too, so I'm going to go ahead and ditch that as well. And this is the piece that we're left with. Kind of feels marshmallow if I'm being honest. If you guys have ever dealt with fresh mozzarella, that's what this feels like. It almost feels like uh, fresh mozzarella. It even kind of has that same look. All right, so this is what's left of our mushroom after cutting it up and uh, peeling all the skin off. And it's honestly a pretty meaty mushroom. The smell is kind of earthy, almost similar to a chanterelle without the fruity aspect of it. Uh, we've got an egg wash, which is just two eggs and some milk. We got a little bit of flour, a little bit of garlic salt, and some cracked pepper. And it's just a, a real basic, simple mixture that we're going to be doing. I put everything in the egg wash first, and it goes egg wash flour, back into the egg wash, back into the flour. And that gets a really good breading on these things. You can also use panko to finish them off if you want to. I usually do, but I am out of that right now. All right, so we got the mushroom is breaded and I'll flip you around here. And this is what they look like right after they've been breaded twice. We got our oil and it's on a medium heat. Um, it's been heating up for a minute and we're gonna start with some of these bigger pieces. And we're just gonna lay them right in here. And we're gonna cook them till they're a nice golden brown. That'll probably happen pretty fast because this oil's kind of hot. And we're just gonna continue that process until they're all done. Check in with you guys when we're ready for the taste test. All right, so we are all cooked up and finished and I let these things cool for a minute. I've eaten enough fried foods that I know that. And this is the end result. It looks really good. It smells really good. It feels like it's just gonna fall apart. I think this is gonna be one of the more tender mushrooms I've ever eaten. So I've done a chanterelle video. I've eaten morels. I have yet to find a chicken of the woods. I've done dryad saddle. This is gonna be a new mushroom for me. Let's see how it tastes. The inside is very, very tender. Um, it doesn't actually bathe like a mushroom at all. It's very, very soft. 
Flavor's really decent though. It just doesn't have that typical mushroom texture. All right, so not a bad mushroom. Uh, definitely a little, a little bit different. Good with taste. It lacks a little bit in the texture department. It's almost like you're eating marshmallow cream, deep fried marshmallow cream or something. And uh, it's not bad. It's just different. So I'd probably give this mushroom like a seven out of 10. Really good taste, lacks a little bit in texture. Um, maybe a bigger one or bigger slices would would be a little bit more meatier. That's the only thing this thing is missing though. But otherwise, smells great, tastes great. Just missing a little texture. But that's the end of the video, guys. I hope this video was helpful to some of you. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you like the video, make sure you drop a comment, and especially smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.